Welcome to the Abyss. I'm Jacqueline, and today we're discussing five ways why lobsters are super weird. Let's dive in. This is an American lobster, scientifically known as Homerus americanus. They are classified as a decapod crustacean, which basically just means they're a ten-legged water bug. As you can see, these are the ten legs here. They've got four walking legs on either side, and then their two big claws. They live in the North Atlantic Ocean, and they're like the cold waters from about Labrador and Canada down to North Carolina and the United States. They live fairly intertidally in a depth from about 1 to 50 meters, but can be found up to 700 meters. So in this intertidal range, they really like having little holes in rocky habitats so that they can hide away in. So that's some of the basic information. Now we're going to dive into what makes them weird. Reason number one why I think lobsters are super weird is that they're able to regrow their limbs. So lobsters tend to be fairly solitary animals, however when they do interact with other lobsters, they can be fairly aggressive, and sometimes in these fights, they lose a limb. Fortunately for the lobster, they're able to regrow these limbs when they grow larger. They do this by when they grow, lobsters shed their shell, similar to a snake shedding their skin. They will then regrow their shell larger than the previous shell, allowing their body inside to grow. When they're regrowing their shell, they're able to regrow the area that was lost. However, this requires a lot of extra resources and time, so it can delay the growth period and also results in the regrown limb to be a lot smaller. Reason number two why lobsters are super weird is that the female lobsters will get naked to mate. And what I mean by this is that the female lobsters will mate during their soft-bodied stage. The soft-bodied stage of lobsters is similar to what I was talking about earlier with the growth. When lobsters shed their hard shells, and before they regrow their new shells, there is an intermediate period where the lobsters are soft-bodied. It is during this time that the female lobsters will mate with the males, being quote-unquote naked. Reason number three why lobsters are super weird, and my personal favorite reason, is that lobsters pee out of their heads. Lobsters have two paired glands in their heads, right around here, that are sometimes called the urinary glands, the green glands, or the antennal glands. These glands act as the bladder of the lobster and are where the urine is stored. These glands then lead to two pores that are located around the base of the antenna, and this is where the lobster pees out of. Reason number four why lobsters are super weird is not only do they pee out of their heads, but they also use this pee to communicate. This is because there are pheromones in the urine, and a pheromone is just any chemical that is used for communication. Because the pee is released at the base of the antennae, it is also right above where the gills are near the lobster's mouth. These gills create currents that push the pee out and away from the lobster towards any other animals or lobsters that this lobster may be trying to communicate with. These pheromones can carry a variety of information that the lobster may want to convey to other lobsters, such as its dominance, what sex it is, and whether or not it is ready to undergo its molting stage. The fifth and final reason we're going to discuss today as to why lobsters are super weird is that they can smell using their feet. Unlike humans, which just have one means to smell, lobsters have several. The main way they smell is using their antennules. This is a smaller set of antennae located beneath the larger set. The antennules are covered with small bristle hair-like structures called CT. The CT are chemical receptors and can therefore detect any chemicals in front of the lobster as the antennules wave through the water. These CT are also located in tufts of hair along the lobster's walking legs. This means that as the lobster walks across the ocean floor, any chemicals it walks on top of, it can smell. Thus, the lobster is able to smell using its feet. That was five reasons why lobsters are super weird. If you have any other questions about lobsters or ideas for future videos about the ocean, leave them in the comments down below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, I will see you later.